Hi, it's Chris Larson. We're at the ATA show. I'm with Dan Wallace. How you doing, Chris? The backwoods. Great, man. Great to see you. Yep. The thing that people, I think, will know about you, that at least the people that know Excalibur, <laughs> will know about the Destruction Challenge. You guys had a lot of fun with these bows this year. Tell us about the Destruction Challenge and what you guys were doing. Yeah, we came up with the Destruction Challenge because what so many people have, have told us of some of the war stories that they put the bows through. And, you know, recurve limb technology is just simply perfect, folks. It's been around for over a thousand years. And the Excaliburs, they use the recurve limbs, so they're simple but also they can take the abuse out there in the woods. So we, a couple years ago, we ran one over with a pickup truck and then threw it out of a tree stand and then dry fired it. And that was one of the Excalibur commercials. Mm -hmm. Well, that commercial has been well known for over five years now. And we kind of wanted to just bring out some new challenges. And we've been talking about some of the destruction challenges we wanted to go through. So. You know, like you can see some of the videos online at Excalibur.com, uh, we ran it over with a pickup truck. We threw it off of a silo. I hooked it to my pickup truck and went riffing 70 miles an hour down the runway. Um, one of your buddies even said about how he would be the kind of guy that drops it out of the pickup truck. Yep. So at 55 miles an hour, we threw it out of the pickup truck. And after every one of these tests, I'd pick up the bow and I'd shoot a bullseye with it. Now the weakest link on the crossbow is a scope. It's got glass and it's aluminum, mm -hmm. but all the crossbows perform flawlessly. The best one was we hooked it to my four-wheeler and I take off across the cornfield just as fast as I can because I drive like an idiot. And the bow is getting drugged through the cornfield and this is actually one of the bows from that being drugged uh, through the cornfield there. And if you notice, yeah, it's all muddy and everything, but I had picked it up and shot a bullseye after I put it through that abuse. And this bow was upside down. It was banging up against the limbs. You can see on the limb tips, it's all wore here. We've got a nice little crack here in the, in the stock. But again, guys, you know, the Excaliburs, if you were to break your limbs, you can replace it yourself. And you know, as a dealer, you want your customers to be satisfied with their equipment. But um, I'm the kind of guy that flies up to Canada, gets on a float plane, flies 60 miles from town, then gets in a boat and we go 15 miles into the bush to hunt moose. And if I was to cut my string and I had some other kind of equipment, I might be in trouble. But with the Excaliburs, I can repair a limb, I can repair the string. Nothing's gonna happen to this frame. It's extruded aluminum and I could continue to hunt. But if I was up there with some other kind of equipment, a compound crossbow, and had something happen to my cam, or had a, a string come off, then I would have to go back to a pro shop. And that would be a waste of time and money and effort, you know? You're not gonna find but, that in the Canadian bush. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Tell but, us about this video we saw today, though, with this alligator. How'd that all go down? Oh, well, we wanted to throw, actually, we're, we're asking people to submit suggestions for more future challenges and one guy had said put in a gator's mouth so we flew down to florida to a buddy of mine's place uh, triple m outfitters and we got on an 11 foot alligator and we got him up on the bank air and i shoved my bow into his mouth and he was not a real happy camper <laughs> <laughs> it took me about 20 minutes to get my bow out of his mouth but actually that same bow this season on our show you'll see I'm going to run the footage of that, and a week later, I'm in the Ohio Deer Woods and shoot a heck of a big 10 point, and I flip the bow over and show them the teeth marks that's in the bow. You know, he had grabbed hold of the riser, but he had ground the limbs down pretty good, mm -hmm. but it still worked. Yeah. But a lot of people thought I was crazy fighting an 11-foot alligator, but we got to put destruction challenges up for you guys to see. <laughs> so you've got more crazy ones in 2017? Yeah, and we're asking for people to submit some suggestions because if we use your suggestion, we're going to give you a free crossbow. But we need about eight or ten more good ones because I'm just a hillbilly and uh, we could only think of ten good ones. <laughs> and uh, now they get, we got to be reasonable. I can't go driving over top of it with a D9 dozer. Right. Um, somebody said throw it out of an airplane, but come on, man, <laughs> that's not normal hunting conditions. Yeah. But we'll think up something, and we're gonna we're gonna keep shoving them out there on the internet and letting people view them. And uh, hopefully, you'll see how 
how indestructible they really are. Well, very cool. Nice work, Dan. Thanks Chris. for joining us and appreciate yeah. all the work you do and keep beating those bulls up. Hey guys, keep watching these videos from these from Chris. I mean, they got some great videos on their website. Check it out, crossbowexpert.com.